Well, joining me now is the chair of Brit PC UK and former politician Henry Bolton and broadcaster Jenny Cleman. Well, welcome to both of you. Um, Henry Bolton, yep. when Suella Braverman uses a phrase like invasion, she does it to rally the right, uh, to rally people who think we are literally being invaded by illegal immigrants. That's not true. We're not being invaded by illegal immigrants. They're not invading us. These are, in many cases, desperate people coming because they have nowhere else to be. They've been maybe in war-torn countries. Not all. Some are gaming the system. We know that. But to describe them as an invasion is such inflammatory, stupid rhetoric. Uh, Piers, I'm, I'm going to partly agree with you and partly disagree. Um, uh, we talk about pitch invasions. Are we saying that that's inflammatory? The answer is no. And of course, well, you're comparing of course, refugees uh, and no, asylum no, seekers uh, to football hooligans no, invading no, no, a pitch. I, I think actually, Are you? I think actually, Piers, you're comparing the language that you'd use regarding an invasion of a football pitch with. Compared with what the Home Secretary has said no, about what's just, happening on the South Coast. No, you've literally just said, compared uh, refugees and asylum seekers no, no, no. to football hooligans. No, 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 no. What I'm and that, saying, and that again, no, Henry, no, 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 Henry the, that again is what you, I call you, you, needlessly asked, inflammatory a, rhetoric. Yes, you've asked me a question. And you've answered no, it in I an haven't. inflammatory I way. Because you're now making an accusation about something that's not true. Well, do you want to pay what the I'm tape, saying, right? what I'm saying is that you that there is a hypocrisy amongst people in the media who are saying Suella Braverman is wrong to call this an invasion, when actually one of the accepted uh, definitions of invasion... For example, you can have an invasion of flying ants. You can have an... Sorry? It, have a look in the dictionary, what? Piers. What? Can, sorry, <laughs> so you're now comparing Piers, no, refugees Piers. and asylum seekers... The bottom line to here football is ...football hooligans and flying no, ants. Do you, in, do you not understand, Henry? Well, no, what I do not how understand, How disgusting Piers, that sounds Piers, do you to you not these understand people? that the majority of people, as you said in your introduction, are highly concerned about this. Yes. And the situation is that what we've got in the media is people focusing on whether the Home Secretary called it an invasion or whether or not, the uh, instead of whether the government's got a plan to solve it. And what I agree with you on is that the government doesn't have a plan. It hasn't had a plan for years. And in this, this situation has totally been going on since 2001. That's, wow. that's what we should all be focusing but literally, on, is the government yeah, developing But the reason we're focusing this. on the use of language mm -hmm. is precisely for what you've just done. You've just compared asylum seekers and refugees no, to I, football hooligans I and to flying ants. Piers, 42%... And that is incredibly of, Piers, insulting. Piers, 42% of the people who've come across the channel since May this year are Albanians, 95% of which are young men between age, uh, ages 18 and 35. 70% no, of we're... Albanians in the UK do uh, not come from Albania. Did correct. you know that? I do, because I was a UN governor in Kosovo. Right. I was advisor to the Albanian, Albanian prime minister, mm. and I led the UK's efforts in the Republic of Macedonia next door to disrupt transnational... They're also perfectly, perfectly entitled, Henry Bond. I... They're perfectly well... entitled to try and come into this country. Yes, they are. Then they, they should be processed. And there is an, an... Then they should be processed. There's, there is for an embassy. asylum no, if they the, qualify the, the, for that. And they are at the moment. But they are not, for example, in Germany or France because Germany and France have said no because Germany and France recognise that Albania is a safe country. And the reality is that we've got a, an issue here uh, which comes together and I'm not... I've got Albanian friends. I, I worked oh, in don't Albania. Don't try that. No, I, I worked so. in Albania, oh, Piers. Don't, right. don't come that with me. You're, you're really being quite aggressive. You're trying to... I push am, because your language... Your I'm language telling... is Braverman-like. No, no, my language They're all is... a bunch of my football hooligans is... invading us. They're a bunch of flying no, ants. My... They're not. My... They're real people. They you did. You compared Piers, them no, to flying no, ants and hooligans. I... Piers, will you, you please let me get a word in? Yes. Thank you. I said that I've, I feel that's a hypocrisy between the media, who are you perfectly happy using the word invasion re in relation to football fans You're who go on the pitch. And... And you are saying that Braverman's not right. You'll call it a football invasion, but you... A bunch, sorry, sorry oh let me explain no, to we, you. We're, we're going into ridiculous detail Actually, here. we're not, We've got we're not actually. We've got people. All right, let me bring in Jenny. Bring in Coming to the South Coast. Right, if I just say, That's Jenny, the problem. I, I think... Jenny, here's the problem. The casual use of this kind yes. of language and analogy it's is exactly casual, part of the problem. Is that when you compare genuine we're refugees, not... which many of them will be, people seeking asylum, Many coming from countries which, by the way, have been war torn because we started a war there. Not in Albania, would you? Oh my God! Uh, no, but we have in places like Iraq, right? You've got Not to in let Albania. Me say something here. Right. Twelve thousand people. <laughs> You've made your views clear about the plan? Albania. That's what so, we should be holding the government. We're going to over. explore that, but Jenny, okay, on good. the use of inflammatory yes. language, this is part of the problem. If you demonise all these people, that to me doesn't help anybody. The point is, you are deliberately 
either setting people up as your enemy that invades you or you're dehumanising them. Neither, them which I'm doing. Ants or, or, or cockroaches or, or whatever mm. it is. So Ella Braverman, all she's got is rhetoric. Can you name a single thing that she's done in all the time that she has been in the Cabinet? She has nothing. She has no ideas. She has no plans. She just has language where she talks about her dream of sending people to Rwanda. Right. She talks about tofu eating, woke karate. That's all she's got, culture wars. She uses this language to deflect from the fact that she doesn't have a plan. And the problem is not the invasion of migrants. The problem is the backlog. And the backlog is caused by problems at the Home Office with processing people. Yes, there are Which, record Henry, numbers... Henry, you would people. agree with I would agree. And yes, please, it's not say, an invasion. I've helped 14 governments to solve problems of nearly this scale. No, I, Successfully. I, I, and, I agree. And, and my point, uh, I would totally agree. There is no plan, the process is wrong, the law is wrong, that there are these knee-jerk reactions coming out of the Home Office and the government, such as you were quite, quite right, and I totally agree with you regarding the ridiculous the idea of sending them to Rwanda. This is all ridiculous stuff. The fact is that there is no cohesive strategy, and that without that strategy, there is not going to be a proper plan. Cross government. But the very least, but the very least, least things. Oh, but Henry, Rob, the to... very least we should be doing is treating these people with a basic dignity and respect. I agree. If with they're you. prepared to risk their lives, which many of them do, and many have lost mm. their lives in the process of coming over the channel in dinghies because vile traffickers have screwed them for however much money it may be, the least we can do as a supposedly civilised, humane country is actually treat <laughs> them with some form of dignity I, and can, respect. Can we not forget that there was a terrorist attack on an asylum centre on Sunday? Mm. And we know that this kind of language, dehumanising language, treating these people as invaders, people who are coming to take over our country, people who are insects, is the sort of thing that enables terrorists to commit these terrible well, attacks. So here's well, Henry, Henry, let me, let me just ask you something, Henry, Henry Bolton. You were very exercised about the Just Stop Oil activists, and you yeah. tweeted this, arrest, charge for criminal damage, prosecute, sentenced to whatever community service hours are required to clean it and fine for whatever it costs, jail for six months. Very strong, unequivocal, this is how we deal with them, right? I, I, I'm a former police officer as well, Piers, right. and I have arrested people for lesser criminal damage than that. Yeah. They have been... They, the Crown Prosecution Service have made the decision to charge, they've gone to court, and they've been sent to jail and given community service and all. What was your reaction now, when... Now, so I'm, what was I'm, your reaction when a, a maniac hypocrite. threw a petrol bomb at a Dover migrant centre? I'm appalled. Really? Okay, yes, Let me I remind you what no, you but, actually no, tweeted. No, no, hang on. Tweet, no, hang on. Twitter has 140 characters. Let me characters remind you of what you actually you, you tweeted. Go ahead and then Reports let me comment on somebody threw petrol bombs at the Dover migrant centre, which is on fire, then took their own life. This shocking news shows the level of frustration. It does. It's shocking news because... Sorry? Of, it, it, you think it's not shocking? You not? You think it's not shocking? And you think that this the was an absolute and... racist lunatic? Fine, waging but, but, but a terror let, campaign let's, Piers, on let's, innocent let's migrants the, in a migrant centre. There is something that I think all three of us can and agree yet you on. You see more. You see more appalled and more draconian about a bunch of people spraying oh, no, paint on buildings no, no, you're than you ridiculous. are about a bloke trying to no, murder being, people. Now you're being ridiculous. That no, whole, no, they're that your tweet tweets. Was, that tweet literally your tweets within the space of two days. That is the context of what we, I think, all three can agree on is that the government doesn't have a properly co cohesive and thought through plan for this. Yes, but and my there point, is, there is, and I what agree I'm with saying you. is that when you. you've got that but level Henry, of frustration growing you. in the here's population, here's my problem. You're going to see these problems. I'm not problem. justifying them. Fine. It feels like a justification. It, it, it does. doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Unfortunately, oh, you put it down to it shows how frustrated people are. No, <laughs> people it are shows there are murderous maniacs who are of racist. Course who want to kill migrants. Of course. That's uh, what that showed. Piers, if you look at my career, I've spent most of it fighting people like that. You can understand people being confused, And Henry. you can understand the You popular... seem more angry you, you might, about Just Stop be, Oil protesters. You may be confused. I am not, you didn't and say, nor are most people. You didn't say the Just Stop Oil protesters were frustrated, and that's what led to them doing what they did, did I, you? You said I lock them up. No, I agree. Unfortunately, you can't lock that man up, can you? Right, what I am saying... No, you, you what, killed What himself. I'm trying to illustrate here is that there is a need to put pressure on the government to come up with a cohesive plan. And you cannot deny... All right, Jenny... Uh, if, ..that hey, there is severe pr frustration... I think we can all agree. Yeah. Look, I think most sensible people can agree it is ridiculous, these numbers rocketing of people coming over illegally on dinghies, and it has to be dealt with, and nothing so yeah. far has worked. But I think we can also agree that this country needs a good level of legal immigration, of people who will enhance our country. And right now, if you speak to anybody 
in many industries like hospitality, yes, totally. for example, and so on, NHS, <laughs> totally. they are crying out for people. Absolutely. My, my sister runs a restaurant that she is trying to uh, recruit from overseas because she cannot, she cannot recruit. Absolutely. It's a complete catastrophe. And if this is what taking back control is, I don't know what being out of control mm. is. It is a complete disaster. This is a problem of our own making. We could have done a lot better to control our borders if, for example, we hadn't been deliberately alienating the French by saying we didn't know whether or not they were our friends or our, or our enemies. There is so much more that we could have done. This is uh, entirely a failure of 12 years of Conservative government. We've had, think about it, we've had the ridiculous, the hostile environments policy. We had the Rwanda policy. We had the whole Windrush it's scandal, all, it's scandal all, after scandal. It's all been a disaster. And what we need is proper leadership to actually sort the two right. problems out. One, how do we stop people risking their lives and possibly dying being trafficked over the channel? And secondly, how do we have a better system of asylum and refugees which actually deals with these applications quickly but to do that, and we work out who should be here and who shouldn't? Because we actually lag quite far behind many we, European countries we need, on how many we take we in anyway. We need a good, and, competent Home Secretary to do and, that, and, though, one that is driven by pragmatism. Okay. And Piers, I think that's what the conversation that really we should be having and all of us putting pressure on the government to respond. I agree. Is, why, where is I agree. And but Henry, I'm going like? to end by how I started and saying that the use of language is very important. You do not get anywhere in this debate by demonising people, by using subhuman language about them. I'm, and, and for my point, I would like to say that I agree with you. I, I do not and have not equated, however you'd like to put it, however you'd like to present it, I have not equated the refugees and the asylum seekers and migrants... OK. To let me explain. President Putin. Okay. Or let me explain. Let me explain bats. exactly. They are how, simply let me explain, a large number. Let me explain. Uncontrolled. Let me explain. Our coast. Exactly. And that's got to be dealt let with. Let me explain exactly how you did compare them one more time, because oh. you said the use of the word invasion about refugees and asylum seekers was justified because we use it about football hooligans and flying out. I said it was. And that, I'm afraid, and if you look, is an analogy I, but which also, is disgraceful. But I also posted the Oxford Dictionary definition of what invasion is. Mm. And in that sense, it's difficult to it's deny not a, that it was a No, it's not difficult. But, uh, well, it's only difficult if actually you look at them as I, less than human. We've got to leave it there. Not, Jenny, uh, Henry Bolton, thank you very much indeed. Still to come, 